Hello YouTubers, welcome back to GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair, where my job was to save you money. This afternoon I'm working on a 2013 Chevy Spark 1.2 liter, 4 cylinder 16 valves, automatic, front wheel drive, and the vehicle has a code B0599 and it points to the thermostat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to replace that part. Okay, so first of all, we are going to remove this part right here, the air filter housing, okay? So, oh, before I forget, uh, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, thank you for stopping by and please take a second, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that way you can be notified every single time that I upload a new video. I try to upload at least two videos per week so that way I can help as many people as I can. Hopefully you or someone that you may know uh, can benefit from this video and the repair. Let's get into the video. Okay, first of all, we're going to remove, okay, loosen up the hose clamp. We're gonna remove the connector. We're gonna loose up, remove this two 10 millimeter bolts. So we try to remove uh, the whole, uh, air filter housing so hopefully you guys can see here okay okay i'm gonna use a 10 millimeter these two bolts are the same so you don't have to worry about trying to find which one goes where the next thing here this is the lock we're gonna move it now we're gonna squeeze wiggle boom done and i did fail to bring uh pliers i want to remove it from here now now here squeeze this elbow right here because with time and heat this can become very brittle right here and you don't want to break it okay so just if it feels nice and smooth soft then you should be okay other way just take extra precautions there you go nice now the next thing that we need to do here is going to be loosen up this uh hose clamp so that way we can remove this uh, part of the air breathing tube. And there's another bolt there, 10 millimeter bolt right there underneath. So let's remove it right now. Perfect. All three are the same. So now, yeah, we can start moving. Thanks. We still got to get this out of the way. Now, I want to remove the housing with the breeder tube. Now this should come off. So I got to go get the pliers. I'll be right back. I use this long needle pliers. Move. There you go. Now we're gonna break it loose. At least that's. Wow, it's very stuck in there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring screwdriver like this so we can just separate it from the valve cover areas you gotta be careful okay, the hose this part can get very brittle as well and break off and you will need to replace more parts than what we actually anticipated the next thing here it is your thermostat housing okay Thermostat housing. There's your thermostat. Uh, I mean, your coolant sensor. I'm 
my squeeze. But what we're gonna do here, there it is. Maybe have another one on the other side too. Oh, never mind. So squeeze like I did. We'll put the screwdriver right there and lift it. Very careful. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna have an extension, a 10 millimeter socket because one, two, three bolts. And we're going to break loose this hose, but also we need to put something underneath the vehicle to uh, catch the, the coolant. So I'm gonna pause the video, get all the stuff situated and come back and continue with the video. All right, so I got the, what I need. Hopefully you guys can see here. Use a channel lock. I'm going to open it up a little. Move, very good. A little bit more so we can break this loose. There you go. Just like that, so it's gonna start leaking a little bit of coolant which is normal we have our uh, container in the bottom to grab that coolant so we want to let it you know leak a little bit at the time so we can um, we don't make a big mess I'm gonna put this to the side here Right there is what I'm putting it. Now we're gonna work on removing those. Uh... You know what? Let's see if we can remove that. Nah, that's right. Ten millimeter. One of the one, two, three. Okay, one, two, and three in the back. Hopefully you guys can see this. one up and when we remove it it's gonna leak more coolant that is one because the thermostat it should be here holding some of that coolant top one is loose too so we're gonna wiggle this there it is it's gonna start leaking a little bit at a time a little that way we don't make a mess on everything we touch again we let it to replace this part. There's the new part. Okay. Not getting sponsored by Doodle Loss. Okay, big disclaimer. Obviously I got this from AutoZone. And again, thank you for my friends from AutoZone for bringing the part and deliver it and saving me time and saving me some money. So that way, whatever discount they give me, I pass it along to the customer and they can save money too. And I get the job. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that everything it is good. Okay, to look the same. Okay. Here is the connector to look the same. Perfect. The direction look the same. So let's get into replacing it. Okay, so let's get this thing. Now very important, make sure the gasket or the ore in here has, has place, put it in place because one area here was popping, probably because of the temperature. Okay, does that. The next thing that you want to make sure is here on the surface where we're going to install it is nice and clean. Okay, it's nice and clean. So it is. So we don't need to put anything else. So we're going to start here with the top one. So that way it can stay in place. Okay, right there. So we can let it go. And we're going to use extension. Early snug it a little bit and put the third one there. Now we're gonna snug it evenly so that way it's starting to go together nicely. Okay, so we're gonna start tightening them up from the bottom to few turns on each of them so that way it goes again even up against the surface of the cylinder head I'm gonna put the torque specs for you guys in the description down below so that way you can have it if you need them uh -huh. nice and even perfect all right so the next thing that we need to do is going to be reinstall this hose when you do that, make sure you put that hose clamp right in the same spot that you remove it from, so that way we can seal correctly. So, remove, connect. And so far, we're pretty much done. The next thing is put it on the air filter back, add the coolant, let it run, get it to operate at temperature, make sure that the coolant level is good, clear the coats, take it for a test drive, and confirm the repair. All right, guys, if you like the video so far, please uh, give it a thumb up. Leave your comments down below. Hopefully, this helped. I'm going to stop the video right here. The rest, you know what to do. Okay? As usual, God bless, do your best, forget the rest, and I will see you in the next video. Later.